That is so loud. The lights are dimming. Yeah, the lights were dimming. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they were dimming. It's pulling so much. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Daniel. Today, we're gonna to be finishing up these speakers. If you can see one here that looks a little different, we decided the fourth one, we were gonna do something a little uh, different just to see if it sounded better. So we took some plywood instead of the MDF that we did in the last video. And if you missed that, go ahead and click right up here and we'll link it. We took scrap plywood that we had laying around and we screwed it all together, uh, glued it, made it airtight, and we're gonna test this thing in a little bit. But first, we're gonna go ahead and put carpet on all four of these, and we're gonna put the speaker grills and make them look all nice and neat and get the testing. Now, we do wanna apologize for not having done previous videos for the last two weeks because we've had family time and Thanksgiving, and we hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. So with that said, let's get into the content. Let's get into the video. Let's get this thing done. We have a lot more content coming, and we want to get into it. So stay tuned and thank you for joining us. ran into a little snag. We have enough carpet for one more speaker. Uh, apparently, we did not allot for enough. We thought it was gonna be enough, but uh, the boxes just take way too much, so I'm gonna have to order some more carpet. We also did not order enough screws. And when I say we, I mean me. I didn't order enough little screws to attach the uh, edge pieces and the grill covers and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to order some more, um, but we don't want that to take away from this video. We're gonna go ahead and do that off camera, but we are gonna go ahead and show you what the finished product of one looks like. It's not the best quality. We have, we already know what we wanna do different on the next one, but yeah, I think it still looks pretty good for, for a home, you know, DIY stuff for a garage. So now we wanna test it. Uh, we wanna test this speaker and let you listen to what it sounds like. We've already tested it on our own just to get it kind of equalized using this pile receiver. And if you missed that review that we did, go ahead and click up here and we'll link it. Now, we also want to pit this, pit this speaker against this behemoth. This thing is so heavy, it's, it's airtight. That one's airtight, but this one just, it's a whole other level. Uh, so we want to we want to try to to let you see if you can hear a difference between the two using this receiver. So let's get into it. We're going to start with 
this um, MDF box. Hit it! Together. And these are just this is just two speakers. Just imagine when we put all four together. And I know it may not sound like it on camera, but it's so loud in here. And when we put four together, it's it's crazy. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the uh, the black one again on channel A, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it back on. the difference between the two but this one is so much better uh, all the, the full range of the the music and the, the the deepness of the bass is so much more clear in this one that you can tell it I, I don't know if it transitions to the camera very well but this one by far wins if we had to do it all over again we would do it in in plywood instead of the MDF but you know we're, we're not going to go build three more boxes we're just going to keep this one in our area that we're going to kind of put together as an entertainment area and that will be on one of our future episodes so make sure you stay tuned for that because we have a lot of content coming we're going to have a nice little entertainment area in the garage and it's going to be fun so keep your eye out for that video with that said we also want to try out something else we realize that this isn't the best receiver out on the market or amp receiver because it's a cheap one. We, we want to do something for the garage, but we do want to test it against a home audio receiver. So we're going to set that up real quick and let you see if you can tell the difference between how clear the audio is. Next, this one is now hooked up to this amp receiver. We are going to let you see how clear it sounds on this. This is a Pioneer home receiver and we'll let you judge. And so in the comments below, I want you to tell us which one of these speakers you think sounded better, which receiver amp sounds better, and then we want you to tell us how loud it sounds in your end. Because we know how loud it sounds here, but I don't know what you're hearing. And then we're gonna add these two speakers on top so you can get the full effect, maybe, if you can tell, if you can hear. But we're gonna, we're gonna do this last. All right, so let's go to start with this one right here. So hit it, Jimmy. Okay, so you can see what it sounds like. 
you can hear what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Now, all four. And as Cleus would say, full pull. <laughs> dimming. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they were dimming. It's pulling so much. Well, we, we still don't have all the electricity in this building, so it's it's all pulling from one one cord, which is not a good idea. Don't do that. But anyway, this is our home audio solution, or our garage DIY audio solution. So we're going to have all the, again, have all the uh, products that we've used We've already put them in the last two videos. And if you missed those videos, make sure you click up here and we will link them. But we'll have all the links in the description so you can go get all the parts yourself and create your own DIY home audio. Garage audio. Garage audio. It's the same, it's still your home, whatever. Tell us what you think. We want to hear from you in the comments. Now, you will eventually see these up in the shop. So look for them. They're gonna be in the corners, up a little higher, kind of pointed a little bit down, so that way we get the full effect when we wanna listen. And then stay tuned also, like I said before, for our little ent entertainment area that we're gonna set up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Be empowered, out.